Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry I haven't posted anything in a while, but today we're going to do a quick review of my Cabo Mentis 8. Let's go! So this is the Cabo Mentis 8, 8 because it's got 8 inch wheels and they are 3 inch wide. It's got two 800 watt motors, one in the front, one in the rear. It's got a 48 volt, 24 and a half amp hour battery, uh, which is from Samsung and it's got the mini motors controller and it's got the mini motors display the eye display which is really good it's got the uh, full hydraulic brakes the zoom brakes they stop you in a jiff so they're really good and yeah that's pretty pretty much it um, i did have some issues at the beginning uh, being the this brake the rear brake was uh, full of air or it didn't have any oil mineral oil so it wasn't braking so had to fill it up and that was pretty much it now along the way uh, if you check my other videos you'll see that I got a crack in the stem right below the um, this new clamp this is the three uh, locking clamp the original one has only three locking um, things here this one has three so this is the upgraded one and the stem itself is the upgraded one as well so the models that came with the stem with two uh, small screw holes on each side of the stem round around here they all came with a manufacturing defect and um, Kabu had to exchange uh, the stems for free the other thing that I uh, had a problem with was the rubber mat uh, this one originally came with a rubber sort of um, mat and uh, when I went to open the deck itself um, I unscrewed the um, the whole plate the uh, battery cover but it wasn't coming off so I slightly pulled from the rubber mat and it just instantly ripped so I had to uh, get this custom deck made uh, and it's pretty cool if you want to check them out it's called maze on boards I'll leave a link in the, dis in the uh, description so be sure to check them out um, the scooter goes up to 54 55 kilometers an hour um, I don't know how much that is in miles, so do the conversion yourselves. And I've managed to get 62 kilometers out of it on a slight downhill, but flat ground, roughly 54, 55 tops. And I'm weighing at 74 kilos at the moment, and I, um, I'm 1 meter 83, so um, yeah. Another thing, the uh, tires are tubeless so there's no um, no air chamber inside the tire itself which um, in a way is is actually a good thing I, um, I actually got a flat on the uh, rear tire and um, the only thing I had to do was get one of those um, tire puncture repair kits uh, and sort of like the ones that you uh, that you get for cars and motorcycles so I got that uh, patched it and it's all fine it's all good still the same tire and it's running fine 
the um, the scooter at the moment has got uh, let's see it has got 558 kilometers at the moment and the stem itself broke around the 280 kilometers mark uh, so yeah the one thing that the scooter lacks is uh, in terms of uh, suspension wise um, it's a really stiff ride uh, I've, I've thought about unscrewing uh, the uh, suspension because uh, the the suspension rod is uh, this little red thing and there's a screw running in the middle uh, with a PU rod in between and I've thought about unscrewing or loosening the screw inside to see if it made the suspension a little softer but I've decided to just leave it as is uh, I mean it's not like I'm going to do any off-road on this scooter um, and riding in uh, flat grounds or the uh, you know just normal streets uh, it rides fine uh, and it actually gives you a bit more stability as well because you just plant it uh, so it's not moving around um, but yeah sometimes when you you know when you're going around some bumpy roads or whatever you're going to feel it in your back uh, and but apart from that it's fine um, the um, handlebar itself I've gotten a, a wider one and it gives you a whole lot of stability as well because the original uh, uh, handlebar um, I mean it's okay but I felt it was a bit too short so I got this wider handlebar and it did wonders um, the scooter has the, the lights normal um, and that's the tail lights one on each side it's got the uh, side lights on each side as well and it's got the front lights and when you brake both the front and the rear start blinking the scooter has got turn signals as well so you can see that one of them is blinking the other one is not and it blinks the, the front and the back The other button is to choose between uh, single and dual motors, but I always ride in uh, I always ride in dual motor um, because you can just control the throttle. You can just control the throttle uh, at your please. Um, it does have quite a bit of torque. Um, it's not as progressive as you'd wish there you go feels like just just pulling it a bit it just goes full out now if you've seen the uh, these wires these are the um, brake the brake cables the hydraulic brake cables and when I changed the stem this stem is a lot narrower in the inside so when I started to push the um, the brake cables inside the uh, stem I was having some difficulties so I decided to just leave them as uh, as they are now because I didn't want to break them I'm just waiting for some uh, wire wrap to come in and um, I'll just wrap the cables around and just zip tie them to the um, to the stem, and hopefully it'll be okay. 
I also added these mirrors uh, they're, they're a bit more for show than anything else because uh, you can't see a lot from them <laughs> but yeah I think it looks cool uh, this is a little horn not very fashionable but it does the, the work the one thing that um, this scooter doesn't have is a proper headlight as well so you'll need to get one of those aftermarket um, but there are some cheap options around so yeah and yeah um, I think that's it it's a pretty cool scooter I love it this was my first ever scooter I have I had never ridden any other scooter before not even the rental ones and uh, yeah I love it there you go if you enjoyed it just uh, leave me a like and uh, consider su subscribing to the channel all right I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.